Okay, what is going on guys? Today is a very special day. We have released the version one of our journal at FX Replay here. So I am super stoked to show you and uh, walk you through how it functions. And to do so, we will be starting out here on the dashboard and you are gonna start by creating a checklist. So what is this checklist? This is exactly how you are going to be entering your trades. Okay, so it's the parameters associated with your strategy. So in our checklist, we'll call it, I don't know, YouTube strategy and let's add some checklist items so now that we have added the checklist items or the parameters a part of our strategy what we can do is we can actually put them and make them required so in order to enter a trade in your trade log you are going to have to check off the individual parameter that you set now this is important really in your testing so that you're being very, very conscious of the trades that you're taking and ensuring that they follow your plan to the T according to your checklist. So we've included that so then you can ensure that you're taking the right trades in your testing and not just spamming buys and sells for the sake of spamming, spamming buys and sells. Okay, so we'll just put these on as required. These are absolutely necessary to enter in my strategy and let's go save. Okay, so you can see that it pops up here, YouTube strategy, and now let's go into our session. Okay, and you'll see here that we have a journal here, so we'll go into that in a little bit, but I wanna show you the actual internal journal first. Okay, and so let's go to the New York session and let's just do a quick little analysis on the one hour here. Let's just uh, enter a position right here with my stop loss above this high and let's target this low so I can enter my trade. And now what you'll notice here is you'll see the new tag section, which we won't go into it right here. We'll go into it in our journal. So I open up our journal. Okay. And what I can see here is we have uh, our screenshots. We have our title. So you can name whatever this trade is. Maybe this is a specific trade you want to name, uh, but I typically just like to leave it as the date. I can add a screenshot. Okay. And what you'll notice is the actual screenshot of the trade pops up here. You can switch in between time frames. I would typically either put this in the corner um, and adjust my browser or put it on my other screen like that so I can do all my journaling and trading uh, testing very very efficiently and um, it's I mean it's just an incredible tool guys adding your screenshots uh, without having to copy and paste or anything like that is absolutely fundamental and so yeah anyway so now that we have the entry on this trade you can see the details of it, it tells you what the risk to reward is and you can see our checklist. So we open up our YouTube strategy and now these are required. So did we get a sweep? Sure. Did we get a break of structure? Yes. POI, are we in one? Yes. And a five minute for value gap? Yes. Okay. And so what can we tag this trade? We could tag it as um, New York open. Okay. We can tag it um, our entry criteria, right? Five minute. FEG, you can see it was already right here. So we could do and tag it however we want and, and we can tag it in, in such a manner that we can look at it later in our analytics and understand you know, the results of if our tags, um, if a certain tag is there, how does that impact our trading strategy? Now, this is really, really important. So we have that added. You can add whatever tags you'd like and also a section to just jot down your thoughts and, and everything like that. Now, please note that this is version one. There's gonna be a lot of amazing new features to this journal as we progress and as we update it. We just wanted to get this out here so that you guys are able to track your data in the qualitative with the quantitative, okay? So there's lots more that's gonna be added. Let me just drag this over to the other screen for now and I'll let this trade play out. Let's see what's gonna happen. Are we gonna get stopped out? Yes, so we got stopped out. I'll drag this back over and you can see what I wanna do is just wanna take another screenshot like that. Okay, so we take another screenshot, it's a loss, we save it, and boom. Now it's gonna pop up on our calendar to show which ones we've logged. Okay, so you can see we can click back into it, we can go and view it again, and edit it, and so on and so forth. Whatever we need, we can do it all from right here. Now, for example, say I wanted to go back and check out more about the, the journal, more in depth, we can go into our journal right here. And this is gonna be a log of all the trades that we have here. You can actually uh, set the title, like I said, in the other section, you have your tags here. And when you click open, it'll give you a summary of everything, all of your notes and, and all that. You can go through your screenshots and so on and so forth. So this is just the general uh, journal session. And you can actually open up the session again, just super efficiently and get right back to where you were. So all of that is incredible. And now let's dive in to the analytics portion of the journal. 
Okay, so here we are at the analytics portion of the journal and or the analytics, but what you'll notice here is a little, something a little bit different and you can see select tag. So I can go back and I can say market entry, I can look at everything and I can say, hey, how did I perform with New York Open? Now we should see a negative, exactly. We should see a negative because I only took one trade with that tag. What about if I take that off and I use my five minute fair value gap? Uh, a loss. Okay. What happens if we do a market entry? What was my result here? You can see that it was just a, a slight break even. So this is really incredible. You can filter out all tags if you want, incorporate them all. You can filter out none and just only use the ones that you want. So you can start to see and manipulate your data to understand or what is working the best for you. So I hope that you guys got a crazy amount of value out of this. I hope you guys really, really enjoy the journal feature. It's, it's going to absolutely impact your, your trading, absolutely impact your testing experience and help you become the trader that you want to be achieve your goals get funded etc etc so let us know in the comments how you like it what else we should be adding to the journal feature and we will 100 percent do our best to add everything that you guys need to make sure that this is you know helping you out as much as possible all right thank you guys so much and i'll catch you in the next one cheers